All right, so welcome again uh, to part two of our PHP MySQL jQuery basic comment system. Uh, I'm Tim from TimKipTutorials.com, and if you're following along in part one, you should be at this point right now where it says connected, and then you have your form and a button right here. So what it's doing is, in our index file, it's including this comments.php file, which is right here, and all we're doing is connecting to a database and echoing out connect for testing purposes. So first off let's go ahead and start with our database and inside my comment system database that we created in part one we're going to create a table called comments and for this tutorial it's just basic so we're going to use three fields we're going to give it an ID a comment and a comment underscore date for here we're going to do 11 make sure your ID is uh, primary key and auto increment our comment type, we're just going to use varchar 255. Comment date, we're just going to use a date time type. And down at the bottom, we're going to hit save. And we have our three fields right here. So that's going to do it for our database. We'll go back over here to um, our comments.php file. And first thing we do, we're going to set up uh, two fun or a couple of functions here. So we're going to say function. We're going to say get comments. Open and close curly braces and set curly braces. We're going to say comments is equal to nothing. Just to initialize a variable. And then we're going to start querying. So SQL is equal to MySQL underscore query of. Oops. Going the wrong way here. Problems. Select all from comments. I'm going to say or die, if I can spell right, or die, MSQ, well, error. And I'm going to say if MySQL underscore num underscore rows of our SQL variable is equal to zero, all we're going to do is return, oops, I'm sorry, we're going to set the comments variable equal to and now we're going to echo or in double quotes here we're going to put a div with a class equal to single quote and we're going to put each underscore comment single quote again close off the div and then inside there we're just going to put there are no comments at this time okay and then at the bottom we're just going to say return comments. And then underneath here, at the very bottom, we're just going to say echo get comments. And what that's going to do, it's gonna, when the include right here is going to include this file, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to echo out get comments, which is this function right here, which queries the database for any comments. So right now, we should have, there are no comments at this time up here, where the connected is refresh and it says there are no comments at this time and why it changed to white is because the styling over here in our comment underscore style uh, where is that right here each comment which we gave to that div is a background of white with blah such such like that or stuff like that sorry so we're gonna go up here to our if statement and after the curly brace we're gonna put else so this is if there are comments in there we're gonna do while dollar sign row is equal to mysql underscore fetch underscore associ of our query which is sql open and close curly brace and we're going to say comments dot equal to open and close uh, um, quotes double quotes and we're going to open and close a div again same as before class equal to single quotes each underscore comment open and close div And right here, we're going to, um, I'm just going to use this for small, then em, and you'll see why for just a second, just for purposes of reading the comment when the date when it comes out. And I'm going to put a break tag in there, and then go back here between the em tags, double quotes, 
inside of there are two periods, and I'm gonna, inside of there we're going to put row, which is drawing um, underscore comment date, which is drawing the row from the database and applying it right there. And then after the break tag, two more double quotes, two periods, and inside we're going to put row comment, all inside single quotes inside of uh, brackets. Okay, and what's this doing? It's just making the date italicized and smaller than the comment. All right. So that takes care of getting the comments. Now we need a function to post the comment. And inside there we're going to pass a parameter of comment. Okay, so inside here we're going to say dollar comment is equal to MySQL real string escape underscore escape. of comment, which is just filtering, oops, I forgot, strip tags, and then make sure we quotes at the end. Basically that's filtering out any harmful information set up uh, that we're going to put in our database. So SQL is equal to MySQL underscore query, and we're going to say insert into comments to uh, parentheses values and two parentheses again. Inside the first set of parentheses we're going to put comment um, comma comment underscore date. Now for the values we need double quotes. Inside of those we're going to do two double quotes and two periods and we're going to post the comment variable which we initialize right here. And then after the last single quote put comma now um, open and close parentheses which will get the current time and date that's posted into the date time field of comment date and then we're just going to say return true okay so that takes care of posting and now we need to tell our script when to post because as you notice over here in our jQuery we're posting with a, a variable attached to it of action equals post so what that needs to do is, since we're going to be getting our comments and posting this from our comment, or posting comments from the script, we need to tell it when to do that. So we're just going to put if to uh, open and close parentheses or open parentheses is set inside the is set, we're going to say dollar sign get action, which if you notice we refer to that in our uh, jQuery, and we say and get of action is equal to post. Open and close parentheses. And if so, we're just going to say post comments inside of there. We need to pass the comment. So it's going to be a posted variable of comment, which we are retrieving from right here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So basically, index is going to load uh, the comments.php script right here. And since these are functions, it's not going to process any of this. And, and all it's going to do is echo get comments, which is going to run the function to get the comments. The only time it's going to post is when we're using jQuery to set that action equal to post. All right, so let's test this out. Go back here, refresh the page. It's going to say no comments at this time. You should be able to fill in. This is the first comment. Post. Here, I'm going to take that out real quick. Notice there's nothing in there. We're going to post. Keep hitting this button and nothing's going to happen. When this is here, we're going to hit post. Oh, we have... Oops, I think I put this backwards. Like an idiot. Um, up here where it says MySQL real string escape it needs to be the other way around I'm retarded real escape underscore string okay save that refresh this there's gonna say no comments at this time this is the first comment get that and as you can see it automatically update and so this is the first comment it clears out our text area and so as you notice um, the date looks a little funky uh, if you go over here to my website under the video tutorials for um, 
Um, I forget where it's at, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Right here with working with databases under the PHP MySQL. PHP converting MySQL date time field into user friendly string. Um, if you don't know how to convert the date, um, watch this video and I'll show you how to do that. But I'm just going to um, type it in here for now, real quick. And there you go, convert date. And when we go and refresh, or actually, and just to apply this to our date, whatever function name you do, you just wrap it around your. Uh, date field right here that you're pulling out of your database and go and refresh that and now it says July 11, 2011 um, 6.39 p.m. Now we can do another comment uh, second comment just like that and it shows up right there so that's the um, PHP MySQL jQuery basic comment system so hope you enjoy um, I will be doing an advanced comment system um, that goes off of this tutorial system which you'll be able to reply to each comment um, so it's not just a big string of comments you're gonna have people reply to a specific comment so hope to see you then and I will hopefully have that posted hopefully pretty soon since I'm, I have a little bit of free time in the next couple days so hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial uh, check out my website if you have any questions uh, TimKipTutorials.com. We have uh, forums over here. Uh, if you have any problems with the script or if you just want to talk and hang out, check us out. Talk to you later.